there, there's some pretty good data that suggests there are no differences in babies born from IVF given the genetic content of how they were conceived. For example, uh, the genetics of the father and the mother, uh, by artificially combining them in vitro, as opposed to in vivo in the fallopian tube, are not going to be different. Uh, the resulting chromosomal analysis of the embryos produced are not going to be different. Uh, so the outcome of the children are also not going to be different. So when you take, however, a particular population, uh, for example, uh, if there is a problem uh, with the father in regard to a disease suggesting that his sperm production is compromised and it's a condition that he could therefore pass on to his son, the fact that the son was conceived by IVF is not why his sperm production may be compromised. It's because his father's was. It doesn't matter how he was conceived. If it was not for IVF, maybe he would not have been conceived at all. So uh, what you put in, so to speak, is what you get out.